Hey, good morning, 2nd of May. It's Monday, first day of the week, first day of the month of May. Thanks for joining me again. Um, if you were watching me last week, then crypto was my most popular video. Got over a thousand views, which is quite a lot for me. Uh, so thanks for watching that. Thought I'd do another crypto update today. Um, if you were following me last, me last week and you jumped on a couple of the trades, the gold trade was uh, a beauty. Buying gold down at 17, uh, sorry, 1879, 1875, and it bounced as far as my first resistance level, which was at 1920, 1925. If you managed to short up there, it actually fell a few pennies short of the 1920 area, actually. But if you did manage to sell up at that resistance level, then you had a phenomenal week trading gold. And I hope I helped you do that. Um, the stock markets was my, I, I had a call on the US stock markets on Friday, uh, selling up around the sort of 33,900, 34,000 area in the Dow Jones. That was the exact high for the day. And if I remember correctly, we dropped about a thousand points from there. So there's something in the region of 1,500 uh, ticks or pips or whatever you want to call them just on those two trades yesterday. So if you, uh, not yesterday, last week, if you did those, um, I'm very happy to have helped you make some money. Um, and on that note, actually, why don't I tell you about what, I, what else I can offer you? For those of you who've only just started following me on YouTube recently, you probably won't know about my website, daytradeideas.co.uk. Just have a look. Uh, there's plenty of uh, subscriptions. If you like what, what uh, I, I offer on YouTube and you want to get a daily technical analysis report with signals and trade ideas across a multitude of markets, just go there. Okay, I'm not going to go on and on about that, but just wanted to let you know. Um, so, uh, golden, the ind ind indices work well. I'm not going to cover those today. I'm going to go back to, to um, crypto. I've been looking for crypto to head lower, only really edging lower, but still some interesting developments. Uh, as you can see, Bitcoin uh, down here really only trading sideways. We went down, we recovered, we dropped, and we're recovering today. But we're still holding below levels, which I think are important and which mean that the pressure is remains to the downside. We're not quite oversold on this slow stochastic. I don't pay too much attention to that. But we are holding below the 100 day moving average, which is doing a good job of resistance. We do have this trend line. If I zoom in a little bit now, we do have this trend line that's uh, through April that shows how we have been trading lower. Uh, the moving averages are pretty much flat lined because we have been trading mostly in a sideways direction with bias to the downside. Um, but we're trading below the 50, the 100, the 200, the 500 day moving averages, all pretty weak. Uh, we're trading below the 23.6% FIB in Bitcoin, which is around 39,900. Certainly have not managed to get through there um, over the last three sessions. We're bouncing off the previous low, uh, just above 37,000 but really does not look very bullish to me. Um, when you look at the longer term chart, kind of shows you how we're in a sideways pattern more than a, than a downward pattern. But the, the risk for me is the 100 week moving average trading at just about 36,000. We are edging towards that. We haven't been below that 100 month moving average for a long time. Uh, sorry, week, 100 week moving average for a long time, the blue line. Now, if we do break below there, that is going to put a lot of more, more pressure to the downside. I would have thought there will be stop loss orders below there because anyone who's trading off a technical um, technical chart will know about this and will probably put a stop loss in below there, maybe around 35,500. There is also this trend line going back to the 25th of July, the week of the 25th of July last year, joining the, the low down at um, January of this year. And that trend line comes in at around 34,900. So those are the two big levels that I'd be watching for, 36,000 and then 35,000 uh, to 34,900. Those break, I think you're going to see accelerated moves to the downside in Bitcoin. And obviously the bulls will be happy so far because at least, although we've been down four weeks in a row, we are at least holding that level and we are starting to recover a little bit today. Some hope for the bulls. Now, the bulls need to get this up through 39,900, 34,000. Uh, up through there, at least we're through the 23.6% FIB, and then at least we're through that trend line which goes back to the beginning of the month. That would be some some uh, help to the bulls. We still have to get through 41,000, that's the 100 day moving average, and we've still got quite a lot of Fibonacci resistance around the 41 and a half area. So 41 to 41 and a half will be the next resistance level if we get through 40,000. Um, but yeah, I just, you know, I, I certainly wouldn't be piling into this. I don't really see any reason to be buying Bitcoin yet. Weekly chart for Ripple, well, not so good, really. Continuing lower. We haven't quite tested the, the January low at uh, sort of 54.75, but we are 
below the 100 week moving average now the blue line we haven't been below there well actually ever because the um the product is so new that the 100 week moving average only started to kick in uh let me see uh january of 2021 that's the only time that's that's the first time that the 100 week moving average appeared and of course we tested it at the beginning of, the, uh, of this year in january but we didn't manage a weekly close below it now we have closed the week significantly below the 100 week moving average which currently has a value of 67.17 so this is not looking good yes we've got a bit of a bounce back today but i can't see any reason why i personally would be long ripple let's just have a quick look at the daily chart in case it tells us anything else well in the short term i can i can say that we're in a sideways trend not a bear trend which is kind of good news for the bulls even though we're trading below the 100 week moving average i can put some sort of trend line like this i guess and say look we're at the uh, bottom end of the sideways trend and therefore there's a good chance that we can bounce back that's the best hope i can give for bulls there we go let me try and do something like this and close that down a little bit uh, there we go so there's there's your sideways trend uh, from from January uh, the January low and the February high and we just seem to be holding those parameters at the moment so as long as we can hold above this trend line uh, which is obviously around the, today's low which is 50, uh, if we break below 59 59 double that's going to start to be a problem but as we're bouncing back who knows we can maybe make it to 6680 now we get to 6680 or we get through 6680 uh, we can then push on to the 100 week moving average which is at 67 10 67 20 but of course we're gonna have to get up through that 100 week moving average for me personally to feel more optimistic so i'd like to see ripple up through the 38.2 percent fib on the daily chart which is at around 7140 7150 that would break this very short term just the april bear trend line would break the 38.2 percent fib and would also mean we've broken back above the 100 week moving average so that really has to happen for me to turn more bullish on ripple and then i can say we've had a false break below the 100 week moving average um, we're very oversold on the daily chart so that's that that's that's what you bulls need um, to get back in the game now ethereum offers some hope for crypto in general it's, it's usually the stronger of those three and we've certainly managed to hold the 500 day moving average as you can see the green line bouncing off it quite nicely we did we did dip a bit below it this morning but making a very strong recovery so the the buyers are definitely using that as a as a as an opportunity to get long so what they need to do these bulls these buyers is get the price back up through the 100 day moving average which has been a bit of a bit of an obstacle um good support on the downside the 100 day moving average initially in april we've broken below it so obviously that will be resistance i'm actually going to take these fibs off and take that one off uh, for sure let's put some more fibs on give us some sort of idea where we could get to so we got down to 70 2754 which was just a fraction below the 500 day moving average nice green candle off there heading to 2900 the 100 day moving average the trend line is also around there 2950 let's call it and we've got the um well, actually it's not it's 23 2930 we've got 23.6 percent fib at 29.50 so the resistance level for today is at 2900 2950 if you think we're going to stay in a bear trend and break the 500 day moving average you might want to try a short around there stop above 3000 risk 50 to 100 pips and see if we can come back and retest the 500 day moving average at around 2800 2750 if you if you fancy a scalp that might be the way to go if we retest to sort of 2800 2750 you might want to try along it's bounced off there once already today might bounce again we start breaking above 3000 or even 2980 then we can jump quite quickly to 30 60 30 80 for you scalpers it's just some little short-term levels um the next move would be up to the 50 percent fib which ties in quite nicely with these little swing uh high uh, lows on the daily chart here in the first week of april and the swing high uh two weeks ago uh up there at 3179 so 3160 3180 the the next target obviously which is fairly obvious if we get to through sort of 3090 um scalping wise it's working pretty well isn't it you know you can you can you can scalp the fib levels the moving averages the trend lines these these markets do work very very well technically i have to say so um and i do do cover this as well by the way uh, I'll, I'll put the um my ur my website up in a sec for you to go and have a uh, look at 
daytradeideas.co.uk. We, I do do a crypto report every day with all the scalping levels that you need, buy, sell signals, trade ideas, blah, blah, blah. So have a look if you fancy that. Okay, um, hope that's useful. Why don't I just finish off by having a quick look at the weekly chart for Ethereum, which is just one big sideways pattern, isn't it? Look, this is, just, this is one big triangle. The, the upper trend line is slightly steeper to the downside. We've got the red uh, trend line on the bottom there, which is at 25, 4, 25, 50, 25, 40. Just let me remind myself where that 500 uh, day moving average is 2760. Yeah, okay. So we get through 2700. We're going to be testing that lower trend line at just below 26. So 26,000, 2600 to 2550 would be the next stop on the downside. Um, that comes in around the 50% fib, which I need to put in a different color. Uh, but that's around the 2475 area as well. So, yeah, one big triangle pattern, really, uh, and there's not much to go on. I could argue that we're in this negative channel with the white lines. I could argue that, but we would need to break 26 or 2550 for me to um, imagine that we'd only get, get anywhere near that lower trend line. We're miles off that. Let's not bother with it. Okay, um, I hope that's helpful. Please, I want your comments. Uh, I want your suggestions. I want your ideas about uh, crypto. Uh, convince me why I should be long when I don't think I should be. I um, really do appreciate that. Have a look at my website and uh, join me again tomorrow. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Thanks so much.